After gathering the information and after selecting the sources for the supply, the retailer moves to the third step, which is the evaluation. So evaluation of products which the retailer going to buy. So what is evaluation is about? The merchandise under consideration are normally evaluated. And this evaluation is done either through the inspection or through the sampling. Depends on the nature of the product. So normally, for example, if you are going to inspect a non-food item, then you normally acquire a sample or normally you acquire an inspection report or a quality report from the laboratory. So this will really help you in identifying, in inspecting that particular product. And if it is about the food product, normally you go for sampling because or tasting because that will really help you in identifying that either this particular product is matches with the taste uh, of the customer, of the target customer or not. So in both the cases, it is food or non-food, either you are going to uh, go to the inspection of the product or you do the sampling of that product, testing of the product. So ultimate objective is the evaluation of the merchandise we are, which you are going to select for your retail store. So let me share with you the checklist of points to re review while identifying, while choosing the vendors because how you can evaluate, there's a checklist to it. So the first point in the checklist is the reliability of the vendor. So rely, either the vendor which you are, which, which is giving you the product is reliable enough, the supplier will be able to consistently fill the promises which will be made with the retailers or not. So either is a reliable, reliable supplier or a non-reliable supplier, this will be identified through a consistency of the promises, cons consistently fulfillment of the promises which the supplier is make or the, with the market reputation because the market reputation will exactly tell you that either the supplier is reliable or not. Uh, then you check about the price, about the quality. So who provides the best merchandise? And of course, at the uh, lowest prices or at the very competitive prices because that would be the differentiation factor for the retailer. Then order processing time, which is the third uh, point in the checklist. How fast will the deliveries will be made? So if you are going to order for a particular product or service, then how much time would it take to the manufacturer or to the source of supply or to the vendor? How much time would it take to deliver to your store? Because if there is empty shelves, your customer will be annoyed. And then exclusive rights, very important point. So will the supplier will give you exclusive rights of selling or will the supplier will make customized products for you? So in both the cases, uh, normally if you will observe internationally that for a particular retail store, in case of food, the company decide, the normally designs or develop a different size of the product or different measurement of the, the size of the product. So what will happen in the case that you have the exclusive right of that particular size. For example, if uh, the a uh, bottle is available in 500 ml or 200 ml and then uh, maybe uh, 1 liter. So maybe for a particular retailer it is available 1.25 liter. So that is actually the exclusivity. So if the retailer, if the, the vendor is going to offer you some exclusive right or some exclusive product, some customized product would be an added advantage, will be a positive fact in identifying this vendor. So what are the functions uh, which a vendor will provide you? which a vendor will, uh, uh, the supplier will be giving you. Will, will it will be giving you the transportation or delivery facility? Uh, will they do storing for you, storage for you, warehousing facility to you? So all different functions, if you need them, is the supplier capable to do that or is the supplier is willing to help you? Because normally the phenomena is that you work with a supplier that if you will grow as a retailer, the supplier will grow automatically. So the next point in the checklist is about the information. So will the supplier will be able to share the information, the necessary information about the market, about the competitor, about the customer, whatsoever he will have, uh, the, he either he is ready to give you the information. If yes, it is a positive for him. If no, then of course company will be, uh, retailer will be marking him negative in that particular point. About the ethics, so will a supplier fulfill all verbal promises? and not engage in any unfair business or any uh, labor law issues, some labor or labor practices. So you are going to see either is an ethical supplier, ethical vendor, or their practices are not ethical. About the guarantee, 
which is the next point in the checklist so either supplier have the proper guarantee or the supplier is able to fulfill its promise with respect to guarantee if they are going to offer some warranty so then in this case do they have the proper service center or the complete solution for it because if it is not there then of course your customer is a, uh, will be disturbed and the customer will blame the retailer the next point in that list is about the credit so either the supplier will be able to give you the credit or not because that is one of the key of the business model about any retailer because retailer if they buy on cash the business model model will never work for them so it has to be on the credit so it is one of the key points on the list and that uh, credit terms should be suitable should be viable for uh, the retailer so is the supplier is interested in the long term relationship because if the supplier will say that okay i am going to work only for 6 months only for this season then maybe the, that that supplier would be question mark but if the supplier is ready to work with you for the longer period of time that is a positive point in this segment so reordering so will the supplier will be able to uh, fulfill the orders uh, reordering uh, will be on the promptly will be he will be manage the deliveries properly will will be discussing in this point about the markups will price margins markup will be adequate will the retailers will get adequate profits adequate margins if it is yes it is uh, of course uh, a, a win win for the uh, retailer and the supplier innovativeness so is a supplier line innovative or still is is the following the conservative approach the conservative in terms of the product in terms of packaging in terms of the business approach so normally the retailer prefer to work with the suppliers that are innovative in their approach of product of packaging of uh, delivery of uh, placement of every single thing and then local advertising is the ne next point in the checklist so is supplier normally is managing the below the line activities or the above the line activities related to marketing if it is yes then it is a positive point because the product will have the awareness and ultimately the the customer will buy more and more products second last point on the checklist is about the investment that how large a total investment cost with a supplier and then the last point on the list is the risk that how much risk is involved in dealing with that particular supplier so a retailer will evaluate that starting from the reliability and ending up on the risk these checklist will be evaluated for all suppliers or vendors which you have just selected in the second step so this will really help you uh, in in going moving forward to the next step in a very productive manner because if the selection criteria is not properly followed of course retailer will face consequences